Welcome and thanks for joining us at EMII.com. I'm Kathleen Reddington with your Hedge Fund Headlines. Today is Tuesday, November 11, 2008. Platinum Grove Asset Management, a hedge fund firm co-founded by Nobel laureate Myron Scholes, has temporarily suspended withdrawals from its biggest fund, Platinum Grove Continent Master Fund. Bloomberg News reports that the firm made the decision after the fund had lost 29 percent during the first half of October, bringing its year-to-date loss to 38 percent. The firm managed $4.8 billion as of August 31st. And staying with hedge fund news for the second time in as many weeks, Citadel Investment Group has been forced to deny rumors that it is in serious trouble. Fin Alternatives reports that the hedge fund giant, whose flagship fund is down almost 40 percent this year, denied a Wall Street Journal report that banks were demanding increased collateral as its losses mounted. Ger Gerald Beeson, the firm's chief operating officer, said that it was meeting daily its daily requir collateral requirements with Goldman Sachs, Deutsche Bank, and Merrill Lynch. And in more hedge fund news, Silver Street Capital, a $600 million London-based hedge fund manager, has hired Alan Miller as a partner. Financial Times Online reports that while Miller will not run funds directly, he will help select managers for its fund of hedge fund offerings, as the firm intends to expand coverage to private equity, infrastructure, and property. And in other hedge fund news, PXP Vietnam Asset Management, which oversees $225 million, plans to start a hedge fund by early next year as it seeks bargains in Asia's second worst performing stock market. Bloomberg News reports that the PXP Vietnam Value Fund will raise as much as $200 million to invest in undervalued stocks. PXP is betting that the stock market will recover as inflation eases and the nation's trade deficit widens at a slower pace. And that rounds out your hedge fund headlines. Thanks for joining us on EMII.com. For more details on these stories and much more, click onto our hedge fund channel online, read the full stories and the latest developments.